welcome you to an event preview segment. This is the segment of the show that makes it extended. So as we take a deeper and closer look at the upcoming Rainbow Six Siege Pro League Season 3 Finals going down in Sao Paulo, Brazil, this Saturday and Sunday. We're trying out new things on the show, and instead of doing a quick overview or update on a topic, we're going to slow things down right yeah, now. Slow and try, down. Yeah, slow it way down. Way and try down. And, <laughs> try and bring more awareness and context to those of you who will be watching this weekend. That's the goal. Give you the information you need so you'll watch the broadcast and consider yourself a fan. And it's I, true. I already am. I am a huge Rainbow Six fan. This is a Rainbow fan. Six fan. I am huge. I'm very excited to talk about this today. Which is why we're going to jump into our brief overview of what that whole Rainbow Six Siege Pro League is all about. Oh, the clip. Now. Awesome. Rainbow Six Siege is a first-person shooter where you take the role of the best Special Forces units in the world. It's one of the top games streamed on Mixer every week, and for good reason. Their competitive scene is huge, and the Pro League is at the forefront of the esports scene, featuring some of the world's best gamers. This, of course, is why Season 3 of the Rainbow Six Pro League Finals is a big deal. Exactly. So... It all takes place this weekend on the 18th and 19th in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Eight teams will go head to head in this brutal tournament where the winner takes home the trophy along with a rather large share of the 200 E50,000, 275,000 nice. <laughs> prize pool. Wow. That's how they used to put it in, uh, in Brazilian. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'll take your Not word for Portuguese. it. Portuguese. Now, to get here, teams needed to battle through their region's GSL group stage for seven weeks. Seven weeks in order to determine yes. the top two teams from each. The bottom teams are sent to regulation where they have to battle other teams in order to keep their spot in the league. There are four major regions in all North America, Europe, Latin America, and Asia Pacific. And the top teams from each meet here at the Rainbow Six Pro League Finals. It's true. Now, while most of the teams fighting for Season 3's prize are familiar to fans, there are a few new ones to watch. You see EG there and Penta. Teams from the EU, we're talking that Penta Sports and Ents Esports, Continuum and Infamy. Ooh. Continuum is actually now EG, which is why that oh, could really? have been confusing for some people. It's confusing for me. There you go. <laughs> Team Font and Black Dragons esports from Latin America. And did you get? Did you look this up? Is it E I N S or I N S? E I N S, I right. believe. E I N S. And Mantis. Ooh, and Mantis FPS from the Asia Pacific region. This is actually the first time the two teams from the AP region, one from Japan and one from Korea, are headed to the finals. It's true. We'll have a little bit more information and fun facts about that in a second. But for now, the bracket seeding at the event. So these are eight teams. They'll be split into two groups. Group one will hold the first place teams for each region. Group two will contain the second place teams matches and matches are... <laughs> first and second place, they're on their groups. You, you, you get it. Yes. Matches are best of three, but it's a single elimination bracket, so teams need to bring their A game. That is stress. That is not, all I'm I hear is stress. I'm stressed about it, and I'm not even playing. <laughs> The German-based Penta Sports is a crowd favorite. They've won the past two Pro League Finals, and it looks like they may be heading into their third. So if you want to catch the action, tune in to Mixer.com slash Rainbow Six. And as a reminder, that's Rainbow Six, the number six, not nah. the word. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are plenty of other tuners you can catch it on th as well. Exactly. This weekend's going to be quite the thing. It's going to be hot. So there you go. That's the overview of the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League. But now let's dive into the tournament format for the event this weekend. <laughs> As said before, there are four regions involved in that, their pro league. We got North America, Europe, Latin America, and Asia Pacific. Each of these regions had eight teams split into two groups of four teams each, where the top two victors moved on to regional playoffs. After seven weeks of play, let's take a look at each region and how they fared. Starting off with North America. Let's go to the graphics. All right. So, Group A, the winners were Evil Geniuses and Infamy. They got to move on while uh, Era Eternity, am I pronouncing that correctly? That's a great question. They got an invite next to next year. Mm -hmm. um, moving on over to Group B, Rogue and Most Wanted Esports got to walk away victor victorious, moving on to the playoffs while Elevate got the Season 4 invite. That's fair. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about EU. Go across them ponds there. Mm -hmm. And that would be Group for Europe, here we go. We're talking Group A. That's Ents Esports and Snook and Nose Esports. They're going to go ahead and advance, as well as Penta, well, not a surprise. And Millennium will both advance. Supremacy, Alpha Republic of Esports. You're going to have to wait just a little bit to watch them again, but 
GG to GG there. indeed. Pence is looking good. It's pretty intense. Penta is looking good. It's always looking good. But uh, before we move on, let's take a look at the Latin American group. Group A, Team Font and Encore Esports will be advancing. And in Group B, we have Black Dragon Esports and BRK Esports, mm. while Knox Gaming and Merciless got the Season 4 invites. That's nice. There so GG's go. all around, everybody. Absolumo. Now, with the exception of Asia Pacific, these victors only had to win one match at their regional playoffs to advance and be eligible for the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League Finals. Not that that's an easy thing to do, and you'll see why in a minute. Let's ma see who made it right now. Check out the NA. If you're heading for NA, who are you voting for? Who are you um, winning? Who's excited? All right, here we go. So, semifinals, Evil Geniuses and Infamy walked away, but in the finals, it was Evil Geniuses that reigned supreme. EG, coming in hot. You know what? What are you going to do? GG EG. GG EG. Hmm, <laughs> see... One of the bigger, uh, I would say, one of the bigger uh, esports conglomerates out there. You oh, know, really? them and Optic and, and others yeah. of that nature. But let's talk about European playoffs and who made it on top. We said before, Entz and Penta moved on. Penta. Almost hard to believe that Penta made it. That's intense. It's not hard to believe. Not at all. No. But anyway, Congrats. what did they do in Latin there, Ethan? Well, in Latin America, we're going to take a look and see who just who won and is who. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying here. That's but moving on, Team Font and Black Dragons faced off in the finals with Black Dragons Esports taking the win. It's true. Now, unfortunately, Team Font did not call themselves Wingdings, so they do not have my vote. <laughs> moving right along, let's talk Asia Pacific here for a second there, folks. Play round drum roll, please. Here we go. Mantis FPS up against EINS. E-I-N-S made it through. Of course. The w person with the harder name is always going to make it through because then we have to read it. Speaking of made it through and the harder names, let's take a look at all eight teams. All right. And of course, <laughs> why wouldn't we? <laughs> so <laughs> let's see. North America, these are who you're going to be uh, excited for if you're into the NA Esports Rainbow Six scene, Evil Geniuses and Infamy. Mm -hmm. Moving on over to Europe, we have Penta, of course, mm -hmm. and Ents Esports. It's true. Now, Latin America, Black Dragons Esports, and Team Font. While Asia Pacific, Eins? Was it EINS? Yeah, I think it's EINS. Crap! It's okay. We, you, we already had this conversation. It's fair. And Mantis FPS. Congratulations, you guys. We will see you in the finals. It's true. Now, with these eight teams having been decided and all four regions represented, Pro League admins over at ESL had to determine how the bracket placement would work for the Pro League Finals event. So let's take a look at the format rules. Right. Eight teams will compete in a single elimination bracket. That means seven games will be played to determine the best team of the year of year two, season three. And the bracket has the following caveats. Okay. Eight teams will compete in a single elimination bracket. <clears throat> Excuse me as I almost... <clears throat> Never mind. It's live. What are you going to do? <laughs> now, the first place teams from each region place into group one. Second place teams into group two. Obviously. Yes. The teams from that same region, what can they not do, Ethan? Uh, they cannot meet each other in the first or second round. Now, APAC, or APAC, yeah, I said that you right, did. teams are considered the same region, believe it or not. And regional matchups must be different in each side of the bracket. Just going there to mix things up in a way that will make some drama and some fun. Mix it up. Oh! Whoa. Now, from there, ESL drew these eight teams into the bracket. So let's take a look at what, where, and how these teams ended up. Final bracket. Oh, my gosh. I'm very excited. Oh, yes. This is the one that we decided is going to be an interesting. Yes. So, oh, yeah. That's so, right. match one, EINS versus Team Font. True. Okay. So, let's talk match two. This, I would call the match of death. Penta yeah. Sports and Mantis FPS, which Yeesh. is funny. Mantis, you think yeah. off the head. Right. But yeah. I don't think that's happening. I think Penta's going to take it, but it would be cool to see an up to, upset. Nice? I'm always, I, I love upsets. I'm a big fan. Who doesn't? <laughs> Match number three, Some we're going to see Evil Geniuses take on Ents Esports. It's true. Now Black Dragons, Esports, and Infamy round out match numero quattro. That's some, those are some intense first rounds. There are some really good rounds. I mean, they made it this far. They might as well go head-to-head and -head mono e mono e for their mono. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those viewing out there who know nothing about these teams, don't worry. Because our next segment is all about highlighting these teams and the players in them. It's true. So let's, so let's learn you some knowledge, shall we? So there's a hefty amount of competition going into the Pro League Finals. The brackets packed full of heavy hitters, as we just saw, that represent the best of the best in the Siege scene from all four regions. That's all over the world. Now, the playing field is pretty level heading into the finals, but there are a few standouts among the group. 
They're worth taking a closer look at. Tell us about Penta, Ethan. All right, Penta, first among them, obviously, who we're talking about this whole time, one of two teams representing the European region. After having swept the European playoffs, Penta is going to put up an incredible fight in the Pro League Finals, especially if they are able to capitalize on their momentum going forward. But with Rockstar players like Nicholas Pengu Mortizen, I think I'm pronouncing it sounded right. great. Thank you, thank you. Uh, who practically carried his team with his Blackbeard and Echo Operator play, maintaining momentum seems to be the least of their worries. Hey, here's some fun facts about riffing. Pegu's favorite animal is a penguin. Men in little tuxedos. Penta is based out of Germany. That's Germany. Mm -hmm. And they went undefeated in the playoffs. They are animals when it comes to esports, it seems. They cannot yeah. lose. No. But I guess we'll find out soon, shall indeed, we? Indeed. Indeed. Take this one. I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk NC Esports. They're out of Finland. It's looking for a second chance at glory after taking second in the European finals. Now, players like Cantor Ketty. Kentora Ketty. That was oh, good. Man, thank you. That was almost a thing. And if you want to see how that's spelled, look it up. It's delicious. No C's, all K's. Here we go. Kentora Ketty, who is known for his strategy and incredible reaction time, might just give them the edge they need to win and definitely make Ents a force to be reckoned with in the tournament. You want to give us some fun facts? Yeah, fun facts. Ents is sponsored by an online store, Jim's PC Store. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that in there? Here's fun, by the way. Jim's is spelled with two M's. Ooh, That's how you know it's now, right. That is fun. <laughs> Ents' Rainbow Six team was created in July after acquiring G Jifu? I think Gifu? it's Jifu. Jifu Esports. So they're a new team. It, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty new to the scene as I spit on your computer, and that's, I'm sorry. That's fine. I can't reach out anymore. Cantor Ketty also uses a HyperX Cloud 2 headset. Nice. I hope we were paid to say that because <laughs> he was paid to wear it. Now, looking at the Latin American region, dun, dun, dun. you'll find Team Font and, and the Black Dragon <laughs> representing. Black Dragons took the Latin American playoffs at the end of October, and the top with with top players like Julio. Oh no, Julio Giacomelli. Is that sure. pretty good? And Zua Kamikaze Gnomes Gomez. So maybe it's Gomez. It's not hard to understand how. Let's take a look at the moment at this moment from the playoffs. And I apologize for the butchering of names. Yeah. I can't Team believe that. <sighs> However, Team Fon is not to be discounted. Although they took second in the Latin American playoffs, Black Dragons had to fight tooth and nail to beat them. They've got a strong lineup of players rounding out their team, with the most notable one being Gabriel Can Ooh. Camera man <laughs> Hess Penhole, who is known for his clutch playability. Let's take a look at one of those moments. Of course, I, they're giving me the ones I can't say. Well, they're you hard. know, they're so hard. Yeah, or maybe I'm just dumb. Nope, you're not dumb. Thank you. I not needed that. Dumb. We're uh, gonna talk more about this uh, team font, who, of course, I will refer to as Wingdings, coming in here. Doing uh, uh, quite the quite the gig there. It's all about it's all about the the angles in mm -hmm. Rainbow Six. And I'll tell you this: I used to play eight hours a day every day. I was a big fan, and watching these people play, I feel like an infant. Like I thought I was so good. That's and, okay. And I'm an, these guys are animals. But They're you know animals. what? Looking at this is a lot like seeing Shakespeare the way it was meant to be said. Oh, fair. It's like seeing Kobe. And more importantly, it's moving on to the North American region. Speaking of Kobe's hometown area. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a country. Let's take a look at the top transition. seed in Team Continuum, also known as Evil Geniuses now, mm. as they were recently acquired by EG. So this team is stacked with talent. We're talking Team Captain Canadian. Yes, that's his gamer tag. That is incredible. Way to go, Troy Jar. Now, Canadian is known for his ability to counter strat opposing teams on the fly with expert decision making based on his years of play time. Whew. Nice. Banning a team of top tier players, including Jung, Continuum, Slash EG is looking to come out swinging at the finals, and they might just have what it takes to win. Very nice. Fun facts. Canadian has participated in every season of Rainbow Six Siege. Siege is, Siege is player, what, what? Siege is player Jordan, BKN, another name, Sujin's first competitive first first person shooter. Mm -hmm. This is his first competitive first person shooter, and he's that good. I'm telling that, you. That makes me sick to my stomach. That makes me know I'll never have a chance. <laughs> That's what that does. Nothing like a little Thursday inspiration to help you get through the week. Oh. And finally, Continuum is comprised of players from both the U.S. and Canada. It's true. Interesting. Now, the second team that represents the NA region is Infamy, who took second at the North American playoffs, banking on their team's combined experience with Siege. Infamy pulled out a surprising qualification for the Pro League Finals this season. Now, it remains to be seen whether their experience will be a boon to them. Great word for using in this script. Yeah. I love it. To them, or whether or not their luck will hold out. Fun facts, Twitch streamer, Dr. Disrespect is rooting for infamy at the finals. The two-time. Twitch streamer, 
slash Dr. Disrespect. I was to say slash uh, streamer of the streamer year. Streamer of the year. Yeah, congrats to Doc. Congratulations to Two you time. and your mullet, sir. Mm, it's glorious. Finally, we have teams from the Asian Pacific region, uh, E-I-N-S and Mantis FPS. Mm -hmm. Both teams are newcomers to the Siege scene, so welcome, but both have fought hard to become the top two seeds from their region. Their performance in this tournament will prove if they have what it takes to compete at this level of play, or if they've just been riding a wave of beginner's luck. <laughs> Either way, the fact that they've made it this far is an, accomplish is an accomplishment in and of itself. I it's, love the average joke. It's very true. It is. Uh, fun facts. Median age of Mantis, 23. Oh, man. So that makes me feel old. <laughs> yeah. Invert those numbers there, kids. <laughs> With this much raw talent packed into one tournament, it will certainly be an incredible event to watch. With more than a few upsets possible, and you know I'm praying for them. I do. But I don't think any of us would expect any less at this level of competition in Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege, Tom Clancy would be proud. He would. So let's talk about Penta Esports. The super group, and I mean that sincerely, reigning from Berlin, have made their way to the Pro League Season Finals once more. Penta is like the optic for any other eSport. So this, however, isn't their first rodeo. As they previous two seasons, they've taken first place in the finals. At this point, they kind of know where things are. They're like, I know that yeah. guy is going to get me water. I know this is where I put my sweatshirt. <laughs> Penta Sports has been making this year theirs. As the start of year two, Penta went on to the season one finals, facing against Black Dragon eSports in a best of three and only losing one game. Within the two rounds it took to beat them, Penta Sport held strong. A big GG to Dragon yeah. for at least get, taking one game. Yeah, seriously. You are up against nothing but competition with Nothing Penta. but. Yes. Rolling into the second season, making it to the finals there as well, and facing against Elevate. Playing in a best of three, Penta took the first round five to one, and then promptly took the second round five to three, becoming year two, season two champions. It's true. So now Penta heads towards that third season Pro League final, trying to prove that 2017 is also the year of Penta. <laughs> <laughs> there you go there. So that for those that remember, Penta also won the very first Pro League Finals back in year one, which is insane. They're still at the top as Rainbow Six Siege has updated and changed so much that since that time. So to adapt to change is quite impressive for that. I mean, it truly, to, not to be in front of the meta like that, because really, if you get behind... They've, yeah. they've added so many characters, it's amazing that they can continue to just dominate the battlefield. It blows Man. my mind. Well done, Penta. You deserve yeah. it all. Yes. Yeah. So many people will be predicting a Penta victory. There are two wild cards in the tournament. Just this season, the Pro League introduced the Asia Pacific Division. And from that, we're getting the teams EINS and Mantis FPS. And this is a brand new division, as this is a brand new division of the Pro League, no one knows what to expect. No. So it could be crazy. It could be intense. I'm hoping for some really great uh, firefights. I'm also hoping for some great TV. Mm -hmm. So, however, thanks to this league being so new, <laughs> this is, I love this part, it does seem things weren't thought all the way through as Japanese laws prohibit EINS from winning any money from the tournament. What? Yep, you heard me right. That's Instead, any money they would have won will be distributed amongst the other teams. What? So even if they win? So oh. they're actually, they're they're paying the other teams to win. That's... In fact, it would be better if they lost. That's a That's bummer. just math. That's a bummer. Luckily, Mantis FPS doesn't have the same problems. Although coming from the same qualifiers as EINS, they come from South Korea, which will allow them to win overall. So I guess a win for EINS is sort of a win for everybody. I guess so. Uh, poor guys. <laughs> poor Mantis. Guys. That's a bummer. I know, man. Uh, yeah. Okay. However, I think we all know who the crowd will be cheering for. Yeah. It's true. So this season's finals, we mentioned, they're going to be in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Black Dragons and Team Font's home country. Brazil, of course, really getting in with all of the esports yeah, right now. I, I mean, can't they're CSGO it. people. They've been joining the Rocket League quite a bit, as I understand. Yeah. Now, everyone knows Brazil fans know how to scream and shout and let it all out. As a Brazilian fan base is a loyal fan base mm -hmm. and not a little scary sometimes. Indeed. A large majority of any competition is confidence, and you bet that Black Dragons and Team Fun are going to hear cheers as they come out to compete. Brazilian teams have also been known to strategize and prioritize different objectives than the rest of the world. So let's hope that the rest of the competition has prepared for that. <laughs> pretty let's interesting. Hope. So between the reigning champs Penta, trying to gain a year worth of wins, the Asia Pacific wild cards, and the Brazilian home field advantage, Quite honestly, 
It's looking like it could be some insane finals. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of shaking up going on. I'm very excited. It I does sound awesome. exciting, yes. doesn't it? Yes. I'm so glad we got to talk about this for I so know. long, too. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. That's all the information we think you need to know ahead of this event this weekend. And you can tune in once again, Mixer.com slash Rainbow Six, the number six, at 6.30 a.m. Pacific on Saturday and 6.30 a.m. Pacific on Sunday. You can also watch it on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. It's true. Now check out the blog on Rainbow Six. That's a six.ubisoft.com. And ESL's website, that's proleague.com slash R, the number six, for more information on the event this weekend. Tickets are still on sale. If you're watching from Brazil, make sure to check out the event. Bonus. Here's a bonus, guys. Are you ready for this? Yes, of course. It's also a free-to-play weekend for Rainbow Six Siege on all platforms. So download yourself a copy, and it's a fun game to play and watch. And if you want to get slaughtered, I will be on Xbox this weekend. I'm still never going to be I'm sorry. Pro. The threatening coming from a guy wearing a sweater. A sweater and a collared shirt. I'm just shirt. saying. It's like a shamrock shake. And that is so much love for Ethan. We also know the details about the Six Invitational, too. We'll be discussed on Sunday, so don't want to miss out on that. Hey, listen. This is the schedule. Check a, check a look at, check a look at. Check a look at this. Check a look at this, <laughs> friends. Here we go. It's Saturday. true. Saturday and Sunday, that's the schedule you're going to be adhering to if you want to learn more about this and other mm -hmm. events. Make they're sure actually gonna, they're going to be announcing the next operation. I wanted to jump in on that, Ooh. which is like the next uh, segment. Then you shoot two new heroes, new what? map, that kind of stuff. Yes. Should be oh pretty awesome. Oh, my goodness. So Rainbow awesome. Six Fe Siege fans of all stripes. Mm-hmm. You're going to want to see things. You're going to want to see it. You're going to want to play it. You're going to want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of doing it, we'll be right here each and every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific. That's 6 p.m. Eastern on this channel, which you could be watching us on Mixer Channel 1, but yes. you should be watching us on Mixer.com slash This Week in Esports. Not that we don't love you, but that's where you can check. Yes, and make sure to follow so you get those crisp new emotes of you and Rukari's faces. They're great. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they're not great. 